What's up everybody? Here in Indiana we've had an especially wet spring and I have a leak in my uh, basement wall that I've never had before. As you can see I have this hairline crack coming from up here. It goes about halfway down the basement and then it begins to leak about right here. And it's not a ton of water but it's definitely enough to be annoying and it needs to be fixed. So that's what I'm going to do. So first thing you want to do is go through and uh, chisel out a v-groove on both sides of the crack. To chisel, what I'm going to use is a tool that's called a rotary hammer. So this is a rotary hammer and this is a hammer drill. This will work in a pinch if you have to drill a small hole in concrete, just a few of them, but if you have to do a lot, it's going to take you forever. This is a huge time saver. It also is a big energy saver. You don't have to spend nearly as much physical exertion with this as you do with this. You barely have to press and this will drill a half inch hole on concrete, no problem. So it has three settings. You just got the hammer function, you got the hammer drill, and then you just got the drill. Again, this is called a rotary hammer and this is called just a hammer drill, just a regular hammer drill. So I've had this for about three years and I use it quite often uh, whenever I have to do concrete work, drill holes in concrete to place rebar in or whatever. And it is such a help. It's so much nicer using this tool than it is having to use a cordless or even corded hammer drill. Okay, I'm all done and I got a nice tight V-notch groove the whole length of the crack and it took me about five minutes with the rotary hammer. Um, with a hammer and chisel it would easily take me a half hour, possibly longer, to get um, a V-notch groove that nice and tight. So the next thing we need to do is go get some hydraulic cement and fill it in and let it dry. So you want to work with this in very small batches because it sets up so fast. So that's why I'm mixing multiple small batches. So that's it, that's how you fill in a crack with uh, hydraulic cement. You basically just have to chisel the crack out, try to get the corners as square as possible, um, and then uh, go get yourself a, a pail of hydraulic cement, mix it up with a little bit of water and fill it in. 
Also be sure to wear gloves because this shit dries your hands out a ton. So here's what the repair looks like finished. Once the hydraulic cement dried, I went over the repair with three coats of dry lock waterproofing paint. This paint isn't really going to keep any water out, but it's just a little bit extra insurance since this is behind a wall. And I left the wall cavity open on purpose so that every time it rains, I can come down and check to make sure that there's no water coming through. And thus far, it's been completely dry. So I'm going to say that the repair is successful and I'm going to close up the wall here pretty soon. So let's have a quick recap. First thing you want to do is chisel out the area around the leak. You want to go about two to two and a half inches deep and you want to make your corners as square as possible. To better ensure that the hydraulic cement gets a good bond to the existing wall, you want to avoid going too wide or too shallow with your chisel. Once you're done chiseling, you want to wash down the crack to get rid of any loose debris. This will also ensure that you're going to get a better bond to the existing concrete. Then you're ready to mix the hydraulic cement and you want to do this in a bunch of small batches because the hydraulic cement sets up so quickly. And once you've mixed your first batch, use a gloved hand or a putty knife and press the hydraulic cement into the crack. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Thanks.